I was doing bedside nursing. I was active, I, I loved outside activities, used to take my dog out for runs. I was starting having severe symptoms where my leg was numb and I couldn't walk at times. When I started having these severe symptoms, I was wondering if this pain continues, will I be able to continue to do my job as a nurse? Will I be able to function in an ER setting? Um, also, as a mom and a wife, will I be able to take care of my children and, and my family at home? Got the news 24 hours after the MRI telling me that my disc was herniated. I felt like uh, pain management was just going to be a band-aid to the bigger picture. So I decided to opt for the surgery. I told them I did not want a band-aid for my symptoms, that I wanted um, to be pain-free, I needed to be able to function, I needed to be able to return to work and, and be a mom and wife. So after surgery and after the post-op appointment, I did start physical therapy and the regimen that the doctor recommended for my recovery. Um, it was approximately eight to 10 weeks after surgery that I noticed I was starting to have some left leg pain again and also some back pain. Pain was back, my leg pain was back. And I reached out to Dr. Grant and I was like, what's going on? I was like, I'm hurting again. was sad, I was angry. Um, I tried to deny that it was happening. I could not believe I was going to have to do the surgery recovery again. Um, the barricade not only prevents reherniation, but it preserves the motion of the disc. So if you can preserve the motion of the disc, the longevity of the spinal health in a patient uh, as young as her would be uh, served to her best interest for, for her back long term. I would like to have been afforded the, you know, the opportunity to try the barricade device to avoid the fusion and, and everything else that was associated with a second surgery. I think my life would have been different if I would have gotten barricaded. I would have been taking care of my patients because that's my passion. I love taking care of my patients. I love having that connection to them. And unfortunately, due to my reherniation in the second surgery, I had to leave the bedside. I am now the educator for the unit. I am no longer have that patient interaction.